And now it's time for the lightning round with Brad Butt. Brad, are you all set to go? Yep, let's go. All right. The, uh, the province is moving us into step two on Wednesday. Uh, it's a little ahead of schedule. What can we expect? Well, it's certainly good news for personal uh, care businesses. I mean, they've been waiting a long, long time to be able to reopen, and they will be able uh, to under 25% uh, capacity. Uh, it improves uh, some outdoor dining and some other outdoor activities. So certainly a lot of people looking forward to moving us into step two on June the 30th. Brad, uh, the uh, rumors of a federal election coming in late summer or fall are continuing to heat up. What are you hearing? Yeah, I'm pretty much convinced that uh, the prime minister will go to whom, whomever gets appointed the new governor general later this summer asks for parliament to be dissolved and I certainly expect we'll be into a federal election in September or very early October. Uh, the numbers are just too strong for the Liberals and uh, this is their window of opportunity with the vaccine program rolling out so get ready to vote. Brad the House of Commons has risen for the summer break but they left a bill behind uh, on the Senate desk what's the latest? Well, the most important bill that's gone to the Senate now, and it should pass before the Senate rises for its summer recess is Bill C-30. That's the Budget Implementation Act. That's extremely important because it continues a number of the support programs to individuals and to businesses and uh, it extends those programs till at least September the 25th. And uh, that bill needs to pass and get royal assent. There is a shop local campaign being rolled out uh, through the chamber uh, world. Uh, what are the details? So last week, the federal government announced a funding program through the Canadian Chamber of Commerce and the Ontario Chamber of Commerce to provide funds to local chambers like the Mississauga Board of Trade to run a shop local campaign. So we're looking forward to being a part of that program and rolling something out and really pushing people to get back, supporting their local businesses and their local communities so that we can have some strong economic recovery. Uh, I'm going for my second dose today, and it looks like a number of Canadians and Ontarians especially are, uh, are leading the charge. What are the latest numbers? Yeah, the second dose ramp up has been extraordinary. Uh, I go on June 30th for mine, David, so uh, mm -hmm. I'll, I will, I'm looking forward to being fully vaccinated uh, as well. But uh, even if you look at the mass clinic at Scotiabank Arena, Two, th sorry, three quarters of all the vaccines that were delivered were actually second doses. So people are taking this seriously. They're doing their part. Let's get on with getting everybody fully vaccinated. And that's all the time we have for the lightning round. Brad, have a good Canada Day. Thank you. Same to you.